Hey, Styrene Marine again with a final update on the 1930 Ford Coupe. Okay, here's the box, the original car, and this is my special interest right here. I got a bit done on her last night. Got the paint on. Got some decals, got the exhaust figured out what I wanted to do. Everybody does round. I thought I'm going to do a square exhaust on this thing. Got the paint come out. It actually is a two-tone. Not intentional, but that's the way it worked out. And it looks pretty good. And here's from the rear. Got a set of... 59 Cadillac taillights. I suppose I should blur out the license plate so you can't trace the number, right? <laughs> and we're just keep going around the car here. See the fuel cell up underneath there. And the same thing on this side. There's the shifter. And you can barely see the interior in there through the crack in the windows there. Like I said, there's the square headers. Got the fuel lines off the carp down. There's a junction block there. And on the other side, I don't know, you can barely see it in there. is the brass line coming from the fuel tank or copper I should say I just thought I'd do something different with it got the front end finished up kinda outlined the 8 on the V8 and back around on this side again got my steering arm Put in, goes up through and inside. Here's the steering column, and that be that. I take a day or two off, and then I'm going to start on the chopper for the mutt modeler build. I put my entry video in yesterday. And also went on his site and entered myself in his contest or uh, build off, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to have to change up the exhaust on this though because I don't care for that type of exhaust. So we'll see what she looks like when I get done. It's the same scale as the... Crusader, I got parts left from that. Might have to steal some pieces from that for this one. We'll see. Stereo Marine signing off. Semper Fi.